We're making a real mission today, guys. We're gonna go explore this crazy place that may or may not be a fishing spot. <laughs> it's like this crazy hard spot to get to, but I'm, we're gonna try to do it today. All right, guys, I'm gonna start off throwing this mini barbless popper. We're basically just going to be walking along these legs for like three-fourths of a mile. Dude, the mollies are huge! Well, Ralph? Taylor with the first fish of the day. Beautiful warm mouth on the jig. You got it, buddy. He's just chilling. Man. There he goes. Awesome. It's Tanago time, boys. I see some weird little stuff, and you know me. Weird little stuff. <laughs> you get? Taylor with his second species of the day. I haven't even gone on one yet. The spotted sunfish he says. Oh wow, that is a beautiful spotted sunfish. Releasing the hook from my face. You ready buddy? Goodbye. Kicking out. Taylor's kicking my butt. All right. I'm kicking. I'm gonna try to get these microfish I was looking at over here. First fish of the day for me, a fat eastern mosquito fish. Yeah, that's not what you want, guys. Yeah, bro, nice warm mouth. Heck yes. Let me catch one. I want to catch a warmy. Look at how pretty, guys. Taylor's warmy. I want to try throwing the pink jig. You want to release him? You gonna catch him some mosquito fish? Finally, I got a fish. Finally, I got a fat. Of course. Don't drop the it's a spotted sunfish. Is it? Uh, was? 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 <laughs> yeah. Got him. Yeah, I haven't caught a warm mouth in a minute. Warm mouth on the jig. Oh, warm mouth. Third species of the day for me. Yeah, there's warm mouth and spotted sunfish galore over here. All right, guys, all we have to do is come around this bend and go in the woods over there. After this very long trek where we caught nothing but warm mouth and spotted sunfish. So much stuff flicking. Big ball right here flicking. They keep coming off though. Beautiful bluegills. Nice copper nose, dude. Look at him. He's like little, but he's got that copper nose on him. <clears throat> Look at that, guys. You see it right there? Yeah. All right, let's get the release on this guy. Little bluegill, fourth species of the day. All right, he's so cute. Look at him. Fans. 
big old eyes. There's something wrong with him. Oh well. We're getting there, boys. I can see it. it looks disgusting. Nothing but thorn nose. Thorn nose. I don't know, bro. All that is a thorn. This is all thorns. Yeah. That the, all these bushes are thorns. Uh, yeah, we can't go through. The, uh oh. Uh -oh. Turn around. Uh oh. Uh oh. Abort. No, cut it off, guys. Cut it. Oh, it's just raining. No, we got so far to go. What's going on, guys? It is the last day before the hurricane. It hits tomorrow afternoon-ish. Um, pretty nervous about that, but I'm gonna get some fishing in before this happens. But I'm gonna go today and I'm gonna kick off this new series where I'm gonna try to catch each species in the Florida big catch minimum requirements. So if you look on Florida's FWC website for each species and fresh and salt, there's a big catch minimum length and weight for most fish. Today, I'm gonna to be targeting a nine inch warm mouth at least and a seven inch spotted sunfish. Those are the two big catch minimum lengths for those two species. So I'm gonna kick off this series today. Hopefully you guys enjoy. I got some crazy stuff in store. I got this weird lure I kind of rigged up. I've never heard of anyone using it. So let's see, let's get to that. Should be interesting. This is a Texas rig three inch gold minnow with a Rapava knot at the end. This might be a stroke of genius, we'll see. Trying a different entry point today. First cast. Oh no! Drag was too loose. Damn it! So far, I haven't been able to get a single hook set. I've had three bites, three misses. Oh, I had a hit. Dude, how do I keep missing these fish? Got nailed. Let's try that again. I got a fish. Yes, my target species. What? First warm mouth of the day, guys. Wow, guys, I actually got a warm mouth out of this pond. I wasn't expecting it. He's not quite the nine incher I'm after, but that's the species, so let's see how I hooked him right there. Not bad, but not great. But hey, it worked. That's awesome. Let's get a picture. He's about six inches. Let's get a measurement on him. Come here. All right, so it worked. I know he's not nine inches at all, but I just want to measure him. Got it. Let me revive him real quick a little bit. I don't know if you guys can see that there. I'm just holding him here. Get my tackle box wet here. Let's see. Yep. About a six inch warm mouth. Three inches off my goal. My first fish of the day, the warm mouth. Get out of here. Wow. Well, that was a heck of a release. All right, now let's see if we can get a little bigger one. How's the bait looking? Pretty damn good. Try that again. I never set the hook so hard on an ultra high in my life. What is this? Yes! Another one! Yes! Hooked right in the lip! Let me get a shot of this guy. This is awesome! 
I'm having a blast. I'm so glad I came out today, guys. This is not quite nine inches. Oh, dude, he hit like a truck. Let's see how big this guy is. So seven and a half inches. Let me get a picture of that. And the release. Nice warm out. Yes. Doing good so far, guys. Seven and a half, just need another inch and a half. <laughs> I'm just surprised I'm getting these warm mouth out of the ponds because I was thinking I was gonna get the big ones out of the Tannic Creek. I'm watching my line on top of the water. Small twitches, because this is not a full size soft plastic jerk bait. You don't want to do it twirls in the water and stuff. You want it nice, smooth darting action. As with any weightless Texas rigging, a lot of your hits come on the fall. So you boink it up, boink, let that sucker fall, watch that line. Keep in mind guys, I've never caught a fish out of this pond in my life. Now this is where I wish I had an expensive rod now. These cheap rods are awesome for bait fishing, but once you get into stuff like this, it's all about sensitivity, which this lacks. Cheap equipment has durability, flexibility. Expensive equipment has sensitivity, which is very key when you're fishing a lot of lures. Ooh, Warmouth just came up and nailed it. Damn, dude. Dude, I keep missing bites. Finally lost one. Now, this was very tough to rig. It's kind of working really well for these Warmouth. I did not expect this to be so only Warmouth. Like, that's so awesome, man. I've always wanted to throw this lure combination right here. It wasn't until I went to all these discounts when I found these size one offset hooks. Like who has a size one offset hook? That's so rad. Thank you, Ollie's. You are the man. Oh, dude, what the hell? The snag. Oh man, that doesn't look good. So here's the hooks I'm using. They're South Bend, size one, dollar thirty. Oh no, abort, abort. Of course, it got caught in the rain. Jeez. <laughs> wow, that was crazy.